Hello, warrior. Today you stand on the precipice of greatness, ready to embark on a transformative journey that will test your limits and redefine your boundaries. In this realm of sweat and sacrifice, you unleash your true potential, discipline, focus, and determination. You rise as a warrior. You're refusing to settle for mediocrity and breaking through barriers. Today you ignite the fire within yourself. Let us leave our mark upon the annals of greatness as you become the embodiment of power itself. This is the book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutation. It looks scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kudash, Barak Dum, to use a quonium, Waakim Wakwa, from the elders, you brothers, you sisters, the whole full elect, out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence. To make your calling and election sure. And of course, keep in faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior and our King, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, in these last days and these perilous times that we are living in. This is Brother Peshai Ban Yahshua. Let us be a quick lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shai on the embodiment of power itself, the elect men. Now, the video clip you see playing the intro. The background visuals um, and artwork that's from the brother Manak Zabayami on 144. I'm gonna make sure to post a link to that brother's video in the description box below. All right, but the, what the words you hear is from um, uh, Epic Music World. All right, where they you know post epic music, you know so on and so forth. Right, and this one was entitled "Become a Warrior." All right, it says "Best Badass Workout Training Motivation Music," you know Beast Edition. All right. So, you know, I was on my route, you know, you know, at the plantation, do my, you know, uh, you know, working and all of that. And I just, you know, I, I clicked this, you know, and um, I'm listening to it. And I just, you know, when I, he started speaking, I was listening to the things he was saying. And that's us. We're on a journey, which is the truth. All right. And this journey, the truth tests our limits. All right. It redefines our boundaries, man. All right. Sweat, sacrifice. To Yahweh Bashim Shai, and we get to you know unleash our full potential of discipline, you know, focus, being being determined for Yahweh Bashim Shai. We are warriors, all right. And it's you know saying how you refuse to settle, so on and so forth, and we're breaking through our barriers, man. All right, because we're soldiers for Yahweh Shai. All right, and it says um we he said to the part, uh, he said as you become the embodiment of power itself, man. You know, then the music dropped. I was like, nah, man, I got to do a lesson on this. So I had to post that for you brothers there as well. You know, it's mainly for the Akim, of course. But we know the elect lady believe in how Bashim Al Shah, you will get delivered as well. But it's lesson of going to that power that's about to come upon this earth, man, which we have it, but on a low level. But the Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to amp it up. All right. Because we are the warriors and soldiers for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And the Lord is going to make us, his men, the embodiment of power itself. Now, let's go to the word embodiment. All right, before I get some more precepts, right? Now, I'm going to go back to what I started with as well. So, the word embodiment literally means it's a tangible or visible form of an idea, quality, or feeling. So, the tangible or physical form of power 
will be the elect men. You see that? It says the incarnation, the, perf the personification, the incorpor uh, incorporation, realization, the manifestation. Okay, the symbol. So the elect men will be the symbol of power. When they see the elect men in these last days, people are going to see power. Okay, they're going to see power in Osman. They're going to see Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, within these men. Okay, in Adoram Tazah, we are that of that number. It says model, essence, example. Okay, idea, ideal. Okay, uh, 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 paradigm. So the embodiment of power itself will be the elect men. You see? So when I was watching that video, it was, it, it was motivational, man. All right? Because this, this truth, we have to, we have to sacrifice. You know, in season, out of season, uh, you know, sweat. You know what I'm saying? When it's hot, your face feels like about to fall off from the, from the cold. You know, when it's freezing out there, we out there pushing this, you know, this gospel. You know, we breaking through barriers, man. All right, testing our limits. Could we have to what endure? The word endure means what? Uh, to be to I believe it means to, to make hard. All right, I'm after let's go into that word. Let me get these precepts now through the spirit. None too long, straight to the point. This is a classic brothers going to the topic all the time. But hey, uh, we have to revisit these lessons because Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is um, but the we're in the time of power. He about to endow his men with spiritual powers, man. Because I did a lesson like a few days back. Let me see the exact day. I don't remember the exact day I did this lesson. Let me just see real quick. Uh, yeah, four days ago, I did a lesson going to the darkest hour approaches. During the time of Jacob Treble, you know, uh, martial law, Jade Helm, all different things, right? And um, also, um, this would be like a continuation of that. Because during that time with the local doofies elect men, I did a lesson a while back too, going to the um how the Lord got the angels, you know, set up for brothers as well to protect us during the times. That two weeks ago, I did the angels of the Heavenly Father will, you know, basically protect us and guide us in these days. All right. So it's, it's different scenarios that's gonna play out. But we know the angels will protect brothers and sisters and children of the elect um of the nation of Israel, pursuant to Daniel 12, all right, amongst other scriptures as well. Psalms was that uh 34 and 7 amongst others right Psalms 91 and in the event and I went to also the other aspect you know you're you gonna have martyrs you know some brothers may die in this thing of course all right but now let's go into power all right the endowment of power itself you see because in the midst of the darkest hour in the midst of the hour of temptation or hell breaking loose yes your faith will be tried parazo the word for try is parazo in the Greek. It means to test one's faith or virtual character. You will be tested. But once you pass that test, the Lord will endow his elect men, those that's predestinated for that power, with just that power, man. All right? And you're going to be doing things like you never thought possible. So the word for endure, this is endure hardness. Let me see something real quick. Let me see. This y'all Let me see what this Oh, yeah, this is good. So this is 2 Timothy 2, and we'll start at verse 1. Thou, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among, among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, man. When you go into that word for endure hardness, is this is the word right here. Strong's G twenty five fifty three, Karkapatheo. Karkapatheo. Karkapatheo, and it says uh, to suffer, endure evils, hardships, troubles, to be afflicted. So we have to endure through its afflictions. All right. So we're enduring patiently as soldiers for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, but the Lord about to give His soldiers, His men, His warriors, power, man. All right. So the Lord has to see if you're what, if you're uh. Uh, responsible f uh, for that power, all right. That if the Lord was to give any old Jake power, they'd be out here doing folly, man. All right, but uh, you know, it's another word I'm thinking about too. Worthy, yes, you gotta be found worthy to get that power. So we have to endure, you know. And as we endure, we're being made hard, you know. It's another word. Let me let me look it up right here. But I'm gonna get some, another definition in a minute. Let me see, son. Um. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Man, let's go to the etymology. No, 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 no. Let's lock in. All right. What the hell? Why I keep clicking this fucking video? That's Satan right there. All right, bear with me, Akim. I'm going to get some precepts and that'll be the lesson. All right. So, matter of fact, what was I going to do? Okay, okay. So, from there, we're going to just read on. You know, I was looking up some other things. But we know what endure means, you know? It means to be, to, to, uh, to be made hard. All right? Because we're enduring hardships. You see? Also, patience going to sufferings. All right? So, we have to go through that right now. But what the Lord about to do is make his men the embodiment of power itself is going to it now. So, like I started off with Genesis, Genesis 32nd chapter, verse 28. Let's read it again. And he said, thy name shall be... Called no more Jacob, but Israel. Israel in the, in the Hebrew, the Palo Hebrew was Yashar Allah, which literally translates to He prints power. Okay, so this at this time, our forefather Jacob, our forefather, all right, he's the forefather of the children of Israel, so called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, right? He literally was wrestling an angel, jujitsu, getting down to the daybreak, all right, wrestling with an angel. And the angel, and he basically didn't let the angel go till, he, till the angel blessed him. He said, now you're going to bless me, man. All right. So our forefathers was on a different level back then, man. The sons of God. All right. And what the Lord did to us, you could use this as an example, like the movie Thor. When the Lord, when not so, uh, uh, cause you know, inspiration comes from Yahweh by Shemel Shah. But in any event, when Thor's father took his power away, all right, which I believe Thor's father is Zeus. I could be mistaken on that. But in any event, or Odin, I think it's Odin. But in any event, right? That's all, you know, mythology anyway. But the point I'm making is this. You, use that, you can use that as an example. When he took Thor's power away, you see, he stripped him and sent him down to the earth. And Thor is walking around like he was a shit. You know, I'm Thor. People look at him and kept eating their food. Like, you know, he was this guy, man. You know? And then he basically got humbled. He got humbled down to a point where when he got the power back is when everyone else was recognizing him and he wasn't um, exalting himself. You know, he got the power towards the end of that movie. And he got the power back. All right, the hammer came. You see? So that's us. The, the, the scriptures say how Jezeron waxed fat and kicked. You know, we became proud as a nation. So the Lord humbled us down to a point now where we totally, you know, there's no way we can be proud. That's why Jake says proud. We look at him like the nuts. How the fuck can you be proud in captivity? But in the event, we're, we're humbled to the point where the Lord about to show his power through these men. All right? Because he going to doubt him with that power. So our forefathers was on a different level where we fell, but now we're coming back to that. All right? So it says, Genesis 32 and 28, and he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, which is Yaquap, meaning he supplants. But Israel, Yahshua Allah, he prints power. For as a prince that has power with Yahweh and with men and has prevailed, man. See, our forefather had power with the Most High and with the men. So the Lord about to make his men the endowment, all right, of power itself, man. You see, the example, the, the personification, the symbol of power. Why? Because the Lord is going to show who he's with. Now, let's get the scripture I want to get as well. Because I mentioned, it's like a follow-up lesson to the to the lesson that four days ago going go to the darkest hour approaches. So we got Isaiah 59 verse 19. It reads, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, from the west over here, and his glory from the rising of the summers of the east. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the enemy, who's our enemy? You saw Edom. All right? He's going to come down by way of his troops. You see? Also, you got the Moabites and, and them. They're going to come down with uh, different mercenaries and different, um, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Like the, the movie Red Dawn. All right. Them Chinese migrants is over here. All right. Different mercenary troops. They're going to come down. All right. We're going to have enemies coming from all, all angles, man. So when the enemy coming, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Shall lift up a standard against him. We go into this all the time. Let's bring it up again. So first, let's go into um, the spirit. Then we go into the word standard. So the word for spirit in the Hebrew is racha, which literally means wind, breath, mind, spirit. All right. Let's jump down to uh, where you at? G, letter G. All right. Spirit of the Most High, 
the third person of the true and power of the Holy Spirit. All right. Let's jump down. It says imparting warlike energy and executive and administrative power as endowed men with various gifts as energy of life. So we're going to be men. The spirit going to come mightily upon his men. All right. The Lord and that was men. What warlike energy and administrative power. Various gifts doing things you never thought was possible. All right, the scripture says, What well, nothing is impossible to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Now, let's look up the word for standard in the Hebrew is nawas. All right, nawas it says to flee, escape, to flee, to escape, to take flight, m depart, disappear, to fly to the attack on horseback, to drive at, to take flight, to put to flight. To drive hastily, to cause it to appear, hide, man. So that standard no was is spiritual power. To be able to fly, disappear, put them to flight. So in that moment, when they come down with that great wrath, all right, to grab up the elect men, the Lord, let me check me, man. Check me. Because the Lord gives men power, man. You know? Those are ordained to get it. Let's get Psalms 110 and verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. When they see the men with the spiritual power, they're going to be willing to listen at that time. Willing to get down with the truth. Willing to repent. Willing to ask questions about Yahweh Bashim al Shai. To get understanding. All right? <laughs> the woman going to be willing to follow the men of the Lord. You got men chasing the men of the Lord to get understanding. How can I get delivered and saved, man? How can I, you know, give me some wisdom and knowledge. What's going on around here? All right? They're going to see that power, man. They're going to see in the, um, like the Edomite had that dream or that vision, as a matter of fact, when he was damn near, near nigh to death. He said the, the ones that the Heavenly Father love are going to get miraculous spiritual power. All right. And when he woke up the next day, he didn't remember none of that, man. He don't even believe in the Most High. You know, but that moment he was close to the spiritual realm. He he said that to that brother's wife, man. OK, so we understand that, that spiritual that was a sign that was for us to hear. The Lord shows, the Heavenly Father shows brothers 144 all the time. 144, 444, 555, five represent power. All right? 444 mercy. 144, 144,000. Lord willing, we have that number, man. You see? So our people are going to be willing in the day of thy power and the beauty of holiness from the woman of the morning that has the dew of thy youth. Is it not written how, let's get it, uh, Isaiah 41 and verse 29, right? No, Isaiah 40 and 29, Salakia. It says, Has thou, let's start with 28. It says, How has thou not heard, known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no search of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. And Salakia, I started with Isaiah, not Isaiah. I start off with Acts 1 and 8. I thought I saw it was Genesis 32. So, but in any event, I still got the two precepts out I wanted to get. I had them um, lined up. But let's read this again from the top. I just remembered that. Because I remember earlier I mentioned how I started off with Genesis 32, but I started with Acts 1 and 8, which that's the Lord, Yahweh, shall speak to the disciples, which later became apostles. He said, listen, you can get power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you can be my witnesses on this side and in the world to come because the uttermost part of earth is on this side. All right. So let's read on Isaiah 40 verse 28 now. It says, Has thou, has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting power, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. You cannot search out the understanding of the most high, man. So things that our mortal mind can't comprehend, the most high comprehends easily. It's like, you know, like for us, <laughs> what's a good example, man? Like I don't know. One plus one equal two. <laughs> you know? So for the most high spiritual power, that's one plus one equal two. It's that simple. <laughs> but us, we like, we can be able to fly, do it this high. How is that even possible? You know? But we're going to have it, man. Let's, let's mention some of our forefathers. King David slew tens of thousands. Samson slew a thousand Philistines, man. Okay? Judas Maccabees and his, and his, and his men under him put him into death, man. Warriors. King David's mighty men, 37 mighty men. One of them slew 800 men at one I think it was uh, Adonijah, if I'm not mistaken, slew 800 men at one time with a spear. 
Okay? One soof, 800 men dead. Okay? That's the power we're we going to have. We have it within us, man. We're, we're, we descend from these men. Okay? We're literally sons of God, man. So, verse 29. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increaseth strength, man. You see? So, Yahweh Bashim HaShah going to what? Increase our strength. It says, even the youths to, uh, uh, shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon Yahweh Bashim HaShah shall re renew their strength. Let's look at the word renew. All right. Renew, it says to, there's a lot of, I'm jumping down to the, right. It says change. Okay. It says, come on anew, sprout again, sprout again. So we had it before. We don't just get it again. It's getting, it's getting renewed. Okay. It says to change, substitute, alter, change for better, renew. Okay. So the Lord about to what? Renew our strength, man. Let's read on. It says, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, meaning they have the power to fly. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So we're going to run and not even get tired, man. All right. I did a lesson that's a little while back, probably a month or two ago, going to the appearance of a flash of lightning, the ability to run super fast. And we're not going to get tired. All right. So we're going to get a few more. That'll be the lesson, man. Because the Lord is about to make his men the endowment of power itself. So I'm going to get a few more. Let's get to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter, I think it's 29. Let me see. If not, I'll have to type it in. Yeah, let me just type it in. Because I always get this one mixed up. It's a 49. But let me see. Um, Jeremiah, um, what the, I was way off. Jeremiah 51 verse 20. It says, it's verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the form of all things. And Yasha Allah is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, of hosts of armies, is his name. All right. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Man, let's read on. It says, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I went unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil. That they have done in Zion and in your sight, save Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. So he's about to give us power to break in pieces these nations, man. All right. And what I want to do right now is look something up. Uh, so bear with me, Akim. Let me get a few months. That'll be the lesson. None too long, straight to the point. You know, our prayers, you know, comforting, exhorting to your brothers out there, man. Continue on in his faith, man. This power is coming. And you got a lot of camps that don't even go into the power. They don't talk about this. I wonder why. Because they trust in their daggers and their guns. All right. When King David said, I shall now you trust in my bow, my sword, sword shall not save me. You know, he paraphrasing, right? Let me see. It says, yeah, I looked it up in a GMTD. It says, and it's entitled, Jeremiah 51 verse 20, it says, the Lord's hammer. <laughs> it says, the Lord says, Babylonia. All right. Let me see something. No, that's going off. See, sometimes this should be going off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's the Babylonian in my hammer. Because it's going to the Israelites. All right. But let's, just, let's, let's read. Um, Let me see what the NLT says, because that one just went off. See, that's what I watch with some of these translations, man. They do go off. You got to, you know, chew the meat, spell out the bones. All right. Yeah. So yeah, let's read this one. But the, the point of the, and, and GNTD it says it like how what I wanted to read how it says uh I'll just jump down because it went off in Babylon that's supposed to be Israelites right, but it says you are my hammer my weapon of war, I I use it says I use to crush nations and kingdoms it says to kill to shatter horses and riders to shatter chairs and the drivers to kill men and women 
to slay old and young, to kill boys and girls, to slaughter shepherds and their flocks, okay? To slaughter farmers and their plow horses, to crush rulers and, and high officials, man. I so said, that's what Logan do with his elect men. Where his battle axes and weapons of war? All right? So that translation went off when it said Babylonian. But in any event, right? Let's get the book of Micah now, right? Micah 4 and 13. It says, Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces of many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. Now, I was going to um, some of those words, man. All right. Michael 4 and 13. Right. When you go into a microphone 13, arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I make thine horn. The word that for horn is called run, which means what? Horn of strength. It says of rays of light. All right. Rays of light. What? It's going to uh, what? Energy. All right. Power. Now it's going to the root word. It's the same Hebrew word called run. It says to shine, to send out rays. So that's where you get the, the, the uh, characters like uh, Cyclops, Superman. We got the laser beams coming from his eyes, bright burn. You know? And also in different Dragon Ball Z games, or not even the, the shows, when you when they shoot, like they come male, male waves or you know, Vegeta's Gallic guns and all that energy, they're shooting out from their, their body. All right? And I remember this episode when Vegeta said it, his beam is stronger than my beams, going to his energy. All right? It says, to radiate, to emit beams, to shine. So the Lord said, what? I'll make your horn iron. And horn is one of the, it represents power. All right? Iron is one of the strongest metals. So you're going to make our power like iron. Meaning we're going to do things that people never thought possible, man. All right, we're gonna be the true embodiment of power itself, man. Let's get a few more, then I'll be the less. Revelation 11 and 11. No, 11 and 3 it says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses. All right, that's both kingdoms. Would you have 144,000 come from each uh, uh, tribe? All right, that's the southern and northern kingdom, two witnesses. And they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred three, they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred three score days clothed in sackcloth. All right, so that was doing 350 years, you know. Uh, a time, time divided over times, man. You see, and also you go into that time of, of, of us being a slavery to someone's waiting for this truth. Us in that that men that uh that state was prophecy in itself of the sackcloth that you know we was in, you know, basically in hell, all right, in mourning, all right. Then the truth came about through our, our abibbins, all right. But he about to give his men power. It says, these are the two olive trees and the two candles standing for the, the most high, the power of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, he's about to come down and try to hurt brothers, man. Fire proceeded out of their mouth and devoured their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, like the prophet Elijah. All right. And have power over waters to turn them to blood, Moses. Okay. And to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. Which ultimately, Yahweh Bashmael Shah did it through those men. Because he get the glorification. So, same thing will happen again. Right, there's no new thing under the sun. But Yahweh Bashem is gonna do for this elect men. He gets the glorification and honor and praise for it, man. So the endowment of power itself, the elect men. All right, it's more scripture I could go into, go into the spiritual power. But I just want to end it there, right quick, through the spirit, man. Let's pray this on quick, edifying, uplifting to you, brothers, man. Because like I said, I listened to that motivational music and it, you know, inspired me to this lesson. So with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praise to the, to the heavenly Father, our God, our power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem. Rechak, Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and his sincerity. Without him, say shalom. While Baba Ball, shalom.